What's up and welcome to another live stream. Making the game Songbringer. <clears throat> Today I'm working on Ring of Difficulty improvements. The um, All the bosses have more attacks when you have the ring. Makes every boss more difficult. All the enemies in the entire game more difficult. Um, but it gives you a final score which is better than you ever could have gotten without it. So. Today I'll be working on the fire boss, Puriel. I think I've got this all set up. Let's run the game. Um, so he's gonna have an additional attack where he basically lights up the entire edges of the arena with fire. All right, cool. So yeah, let's get this going. It shouldn't be too hard. What's up, Solar Liquid? Hey man, it's been a while since I've seen you too. Uh, it's probably me though, I haven't streamed that much. I've been mostly doing uh, offline videos and uploading those, but from time to time I do a stream, try and connect with y'all. See how you been? How have you been, by the way, Solar Liquid? It's been quite a, quite a long time since we chatted. Get the fire boss open and start this new attack. Sequence stuck, sequence shoot. I think it should be above everything else. You've been good and happy? Yes, I love hearing that, man. Do you care to elaborate on why you feel good and happy? I just did the ice boss and gave the ice boss this attack where she does all these ice trails across the whole screen except for one little place. This is kind of similar in the sense that um, it kind of creates a whole bunch of entities. So if mode zero, um, about a lot of things, I like hearing this, that's great. So what's gonna trigger this is if, if count um, fire smart is less than, ooh, what are we gonna, I don't know how many fire smarts this is gonna be, but like, it's less than 20 or so. And yeah, we'll probably have to do some kind of random selection there, uh, what kind of, animation should he do? Probably what he, he should do is like a shoot animation probably. Which is the same as his launch, I think. No, not launch. Shoot, maybe? Shoot, there it is. So yeah, we just want to animate shoot. Um, we want to... Don't, don't really need a target here. You hate the head ace? What's a head ace? This really doesn't have to do with any kind of random element. There's not like multiple of these. We just want to, we don't want to launch, we want to spawn fire smart um, at a whole bunch of locations. Oh, headache. Oh, oh, damn. I, I hate those too. What did you get a headache from? Monadic Bind. Legend says one day he'll be done. It's true, Monadic Bind. I'm getting closer. Songbringer Yes is already released, uh, but this major update is going to add a lot of free new content, which is going to be pretty fun. I'm actually quite enjoying it quite a bit. The charge attack is really sweet. That's probably my favorite part of the new update. But this, this Ring of Difficulty, which is now called Yale Snare, this is really cool too because it'll make um, it'll make runs that you do like this so much harder. So it'll be like a super duper challenge for people that are really into Songbringer. Um, and, but it also gives you a lot more score, like 33% more. You got a headache from being in the dark a lot? Really? 
So we want to spawn, but with a location. So how do we spawn at a certain location? Oh, this spawn rock ran ran three fifteen. Huh. Yes, yeah, Songbringer is already available on Steam. This is just a free update I'm working on. <laughs> You've been seeing in the dark and eating a lot of pizza. That ex that might explain why you have a headache. So we could do something like this, like spawn fire smart, like negative, shoot, or maybe more like, wait, is there a way to specify? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I really appreciate all encouragement. Encouragement helps me to make the game better and to keep on going. So I appreciate your encouragement so much. Oh yeah, if you put a little um, squiggly, that means put it wherever, but like, is there some way to rock target rand? I just want to spawn an absolute position. Maybe I'll put the words abs. <laughs> yeah. Got you, solar liquid. Okay, I think we need to, I think, whoops, shit, sorry about that, I'm always doing that, killing the chat window, and we're back, sorry if I missed any of your messages. Okay, um, we are back, right, oh no, does the, tell, don't tell me the internet's going down again. My internet's been so, oh, it is. Oh. Hopefully it reconnects. My internet's been so patchy today. I'm sure, oh, it's back. It's back. Okay, I'm just gonna let this run. At least the video will record, so this will be up on YouTube later. Um, but if this goes out, It's back. It's back. We're back. Cool. I was just saying that um, this will be recorded and uploaded to YouTube. So if anyone's watching this live stream and you do want to see it all, you can watch it on YouTube later. My internet is super spotty here. I'm in Thailand and um, it just goes out sometimes. Like some days it's perfect. It's really great internet. It's better upload speeds than I had back in the USA. And then some days it's just spotty and it doesn't even work. It's very Thai. It's like total Thai style. So we want to go something like spawn fire smart at a certain location. Um, we need to figure out what that is and then give it like an absolute. So it would be something like, you know, like 200, 100 ground and abs for like absolute. We want to do like a ton of these. We'll just do four of them or so for now. So let's put like a few of them here. This one at 88. Something like this. We'll keep this small for now. All right. No, I did it again. Oh, I didn't do it again. Nice. You might buy. Thanks, man. Oh, you're, you're going to buy it on PlayStation? Um, cool. So the PlayStation version is and the Xbox version are both a little bit out of date compared to the Steam version. But as soon as this major update comes out, it will, it will all get updated. So the PlayStation version and the Xbox version will be all up to date with all this new content 
and all the fixes. There's been a lot of fixes and um, minor improvements like to combat and things like that that have come out on the Steam version. So yeah, it'll be out soon. So it's probably good that you haven't bought it on PlayStation yet because this new version coming out is, is better. Okay, now we need the abs thing. So the AI system just needs a way when it spawns something to spawn it at an absolute position. What up, it has gun. First time you're able to catch a live stream, sweet. Yes, I'm glad it was an inspiration, man. How are you doing? What kind of game are you working on? Tell me, tell us about your game. Share some screenshots if you got any or links. When will the update come out? Um, so it's still, it's it's relatively soon, but like, it is gonna be a minute. Like it might be, it might be over a month from now that it's all finished because I still have to finish the content, which it should be finished by, I should be finished by February 1st with the content. Um, and then, but then Double Eleven, my publisher, they're the ones that help me port it to PlayStation and Xbox. They need some time to do some quality testing and also help and work on the conversion, right? So I'll send them all my latest code and assets and all that kind of stuff. And they basically get it all running on, on PlayStation and make sure there's no bugs on it and stuff like that. Because PlayStation and Xbox, they're more, um, they're more strict about bugs. So when you release an update and all that kind of stuff, you have to go through this approval process and all that. So basically, it takes a lot more time to get a game out on consoles than it does on Steam. So it is kind of confusing, but basically it's just that it takes more time to get things on consoles. Um, so, But if you do want to play it now, you can always uh, play the Steam version, has the beta version, and you can just basically, if you buy a Steam copy, you can play the beta version, which has all of this new content right now. Sweet, you're writing a bullet hell? No, don't worry about, you don't have to worry about promoting things on this stream. I am all about supporting you because you guys have supported me along the way. Lots of people have. And it's, I don't know, it's like, yeah, I'm all about sharing, man. Let's check out your, let's check out your Twitter. I close that other window. Oh no, oh no, the internet's out again. Don't tell me. All right. Ugh. Do we still have a stream? Oh, it looks like it, it was yellow just there a second. I'm not going to keep checking this. I'm just going to let it go back. It looks like we're back up. Here we go. Oh, damn. This looks awesome, man. Yeah, right on. No, this doesn't look just like Sombringer. This kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what's that one game? Uh, where you had one arrow. But I, your, your art style is unique. I like it. I really like this. So um, tell me about your project. Do you um, do you do the programming or the art or do you do it all? Whoa! Check this check this enemy out. That's awesome. It's a girl with the giant hammer thing. Awesome, man.
Okay, so let's get... Um, you're doing everything except music? Cool. So you're doing art and programming? Oh, man. That's awesome. I got respect for you. So tell me, um, what uh, engine are you using? Oh, you can use subtype area. But that's not what I don't want to do. I want to do an absolute position. Contains rand or target rand. Oh, rand. If I use just the word rand, it does abs. Okay, I think I want to do something like... Um, else if stir val2 equals abs, then we just area parse position. Pause from stir val1. Something like that. So let's get that compiling and we'll set a breakpoint right there. And instead of you, instead of having to use the rand keyword, we can just use this abs. You're able to go full time. Sweet. You watched my streams twice. That was a lot of watching. Cool, dude. Game Maker Studio. I I always thought that Game Maker is a good uh, it's a good engine to use. Um, it's you really shouldn't fuss too much about you know like what engine you're using, you know. The Songbringer remix is sweet. The, oh yeah, that's another thing I have to finish is the soundtrack. So um, hopefully I'll be able to finish the soundtrack during February while Double Eleven is basically uh, working on the console port of this update. So that should be pretty cool to have um, this major update out and the soundtrack finished. And then after that will be the iOS version yeah, cool. So yeah, when the soundtrack comes out, that would be the perfect time to do remixes. Let's see if this works. So what I want to happen is the fire boss basically just does his animation and then fire appears all around the whole edges of the arena or the, this fighting boss area. Nice. Chiptunes and dubstep. Nice. Those are both like very songbringery. Songbringer's got that whole chiptunes sometimes, chiptune feel, but yet still has that dubstepy bass. So that would work, that, that's a great thing to be, uh, I'm sure that would be a great remix. So we need to check the stir valves to make sure these are right. Stir valve 1 is the position, 201 underground. Stir valve 2 is abs, Ugh, it worked perfectly on the first try, I can't believe it. Let's see if this parses the position correctly. So we're parsing the string 201 underground. Doesn't have any blocks. Yeah. That would work nicely. Okay, so pause is starting at 210, 90, 6. After it's finished, it is.
Yes, that worked. So that's it. Just let this run now. Cool, yeah, he's, he just put some fire. Oh wait, no, he put it around himself. Oh no, that was actually 200 wonder is right in the middle of the screen anyway. Hey, okay, that actually worked then. Can you be the first to know when the soundtrack's out? Of course you can. How can we make this happen? Okay, so we need to figure out the positions that would line the whole arena with fire. Um, uh, which, what would it be? Um, probably the easiest thing would just be to turn on the turn on the debug view and just look at the position. So that is this one. Yeah, two. Okay, so if we get over here, this is about 90, 60, and it goes up to 91. 16. Nice. Um, 90 divided by, well, this is, this is actually be 100. So let's do the, the side first. 60 is 12. Oh, yeah, 60 is right. 160 should be the bottom. Okay, let's just go up the side there. So we're, all these are 100, and they go up by 12 each time. So that's 72, 84, 96, um, 108. 120, how many more, a few more, 132, 148, and then 160. Let's see if those are right. Cool, is it, um, is it copyrighted at all? I, I, I guess it wouldn't be, huh? That's your track. Cool, there we got some fire that worked. Oh, they are a little bit um, too far to the right. Oh, that's because the tile is, that would be the edge of the tile, so we can go minus. So these all need to be 90. Oh, oh, I know how to do this, right? It's um, control V, I'm trying to do um, that, and then we, Shift C, no. Cool. Let me uh, let me help open this up in a new window and see if I can turn down the volume a bit just in case it's loud, so it doesn't. Because this is gonna play on the stream here. How do I? Ch oh, here we go. Let's go out there, just on the safe side so we don't ruin people's ears here on the stream. Is that too loud? Let's turn it down just a little bit just in case. Okay, let's try that again. Control V. Um, I think it, this is just C. And then type 9. Escape. Yes, it worked. Oh, I love these little Vim tricks. It's perfect. Good, good. Nice, man. Got clear instruments. Just a little groove going. Okay, we need a little bit of frequency while this is spawning. At least 0.1. Um, 
I'm getting hurt, so I need to do fire armor. Good, we got to start here. Let's do, um, okay, now let's do this, the top. Yes, Wackhouse God, what's up, man? Him for life. B4L. Is this playing your track or is it somebody else's? I think that's playing Ubik 2. Cool, man, nice work. Okay, so let's line the top of the arena with fire now. We probably want to go, so that's 90, 60 that we need to go. The next one's gonna be like 110, 60, and so on. 130, 60. One fifty, sixty, one seventy, sixty, one ninety, two ten, two thirty, two fifty. Um, ah, it's for how many this is going to be? It's going to be like at least. Well, if it's ninety on that side, and the middle of the arena is at two ten, then it needs to go to about three twenty. So we got a few more of these. So 270, 290, 310. Okay, let's see if we're good. We're good there. It's 4:20 a.m. there. Yes, yes. Oh, I miss marijuana. I'm taking a healthy break from marijuana. It's good to. I I got to admit, I was actually kind of dependent on marijuana. I thought that um, marijuana like made me more creative, but I realized that I'm just as creative without marijuana. Okay, we need to go one more, and then we'll go around the bottom of the arena. It's 3.20, you're sipping vodka and probably ruining your code. <laughs> oh, there's a sweet spot, I've heard. I've never actually confirmed this because I, I don't, it's so hard to hit that sweet spot. But like, apparently, if you're just the right amount of drunk, you, you're an awesome coder. I don't know if that's true though. <laughs> oh, you're not trying to spell it? Yeah, I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting, I'm just taking a healthy break for a while. So that's one of the reasons I'm actually here in Thailand is because here in Thailand, the, the laws for marijuana are much stricter. Like, you do not want to get caught with marijuana here. And from where I'm from in California, we have super awesome weed, and we have great laws. It's legal now. You can actually buy it in the stores now without even having a medical marijuana card. So I'm, qu I'm actually kind of sad. <laughs> I'm actually kind of sad that I'm not there right now. Oh, did I do spawn 90, 60 twice? We don't need two of those. But it's good to take a healthy break and just remember that I'm a creative person, even without it. And also just, I don't know, for my body's sake, you know, like my body needs a break because like I was saying, I was kind of dependent in meaning that like I would smoke, or I mean vape, I would vape three or four times a day, you know, which is like too much of a habit. So, it's good to break that habit for a while and just be a little bit healthier, you know. These should all be 330 instead of 90. Let's do the control B thing again. Vim for the win. Boom, I love that. Okay, so now we should have the side of the arena. Oil pen? Yes. Oh, I know, right? Ah, oh, I love those. Oil pens are great. I love vaping myself. Coding is impossible while high for you, though? I hear ya. I have, when did you start coding? 
it was that way for me too for like i don't know for the first 10 years even of of coding um i could not code while high but then when i when i got to be a more experienced coder like after 20 years of coding um it's just became like second nature and i could definitely code high i would do that quite often actually so you'll, you'll break through once it, once it becomes second nature you'll break through you're probably never going to do that cool good for you there's no reason to, no, there's no reason to start it's not like it gives you any benefits in fact i would almost say that marijuana in general for me is a limiting factor. You know, I thought that it was something that, oh, it made me more creative or like it put me more in the zone for creativity or stuff like that. But really, I think I actually am more productive and more creative without it. Cool, all right, let's get that ring to go around the side a little bit more. And also, um, we, I want these fires to last a little bit longer. Oh, okay, so you've been playing around since 2014, but more heavily in the last two years. Yeah, give it give it five more years and you'll be you'll be good to go. No matter no matter what state of mind you're in. Cool man, you've been starting with code with HTML and PHP. That's a good way to start, I think. Um, what's great about starting with uh, those web-based languages is that um, they are super friendly. It gives you a very good introduction to programming because it's like simple, really simple. And not in a bad way, in a very good way. You know, it's like learning HTML is like a really, really basic programming language that pretty much anyone I think that's inter interested in programming can start with something like HTML and get the hang of some very basic programming. And then PHP is even is really great too because it's interpreted and it's C-like. I think any language that's C-like is a great one to learn because so many languages are C-ish. Oh, the, yeah, the benefit in terms of negating anxiety, depression, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some definite benefits. And then there's like CBD oil cures people's um, like... Uh, not not just Alzheimer's and glaucoma, um, but uh, what am I talking about? Those those fits people have, you know. Ah, uh, whatever. There's a lot of there's a lot of crazy good research on how CBD oil is like one of the only things that actually can solve some people's problems when it comes to their. What's that called when somebody's like, I don't know. So that was at 60, 90, okay, that's just 60. Oh. Control C. Control V, I mean. And then X. Yes, I love you, Bim. Oh, we don't need to go all the way back to 60. Or I mean 90. Yeah, chronic pain. No, it's the thing when you have, oh, is it epilepsy? It might be epilepsy, the thing that causes you to have strokes. And there's like kids, like five-year-old kids that have crazy bad strokes all the time. And doctors try and give them drugs to solve it all, but really none of that stuff works. And it's too heavy for a kid's body, but CBD oil cures them. There's like a documentary on it. We got two of these again. This one here, this one here, this one here, this one there. There we go.
Okay, so this should put fire all the way around the arena. And then we'll make um, a different form of fire that basically just lasts longer. Call it like Fire Smart 2 or something. This whole fight like pretty interesting. It's kind of cool actually having it just disappear. But I think it should last a little longer. Let's try that. Thanks, Liquid. Appreciate it. I just worked on making this music a little bit better recently. Um, I improved the bass, so the bass was a little off. Um, so it's got a really clean sub now, and also the highs, the mid or the mids and the highs are a little bit cleaner. So that song is just kind of like refined at this point. So these are all fire smarts. Let's create a Fire Smart 2, which lasts just a little longer. Well, that's in data. I think weapons. Yeah, Fire Smart. Cool. Whoops. Copy. Whoa. Get out of that. Copy. What the? Jeez. Copy Fire Smart. Fire Smart 2. And we need to remake. C tags, clear and B. Thank you, appreciate it. So yeah, that's that's basically what I need to do for the soundtrack is take the rest of the songs for Songbringer and just improve them a little bit. You know what I mean? Make sure the bass is coming through nice and clean. Um, it's, it shouldn't take that long to finish the soundtrack. I'm just this is a higher priority finishing this update. So all these will be Fire Smart 2s, and we will do this awesome Control V Vim awesomeness. I think I go I2, skip, no. Oh, it's, I think it's Shift I actually. You have to do Shift I when you want to insert something. And yes, that's it. Sweet. I love Vim. All right, man. Yeah, it's probably almost 5 a.m. for you. Get your ass to bed. Hey, it was good talking with you. I'm glad you've been well. Glad you've been happy. And um, keep up the music, man. And we'll chat with you next time. Fire Smart 2 needs to have a longer lifetime. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, this has a timer release. Yeah, we just need to make this timer longer. Let's try, let's try doubling it. We'll go for 6.66 .66 seconds. Not that that isn't any what of any of a significant number at all. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. what happened? Oh, okay. He just kept doing that attack over and over and over because they're now called Fire Smart 2. So that needs to be a 2 right there. Like, why is this game crashing practically? Because there were a bajillion fire entities. And what's crazy about fire entities is they create um, light and light increases the um, shader, basically. That's kind of cool. Um, maybe these Fire Smart 2s shouldn't even have a light component, actually. Because that was kind of a bit much. And maybe not even these ovals. Oh, it doesn't have a light component. Okay, never mind. So I guess it's these two things. Let's try turning off the children. Uh, 
One sec, I gotta take a quick break. Okay, let's see how that looks without these two extra visual entities on every single one of those flames. It does look a lot cleaner. Oh, there's um there's this one little, I think it's here in Create AI, where it gives a slight offset. That's not it. Where does it do that? It like slightly offsets the position Is it this? Yeah, yeah, here it is. Stir valve. So we want to just change this to uh, contain stir valve zero fire smart. So that would be either fire smart or fire smart two. This slightly changes the scale and the position of every one of these fire entities just to give it kind of variation. I think this is straight up in the Spawn, oh yeah, straight in the spawn funk. All right. So how, hopefully now it looks cleaner and also looks a little more varied. must have okay we need to make this also have a delay so after it spawns all this stuff we need to delay a little bit so that like at least well so if we're if we're spawning at 0.1 per second we can spawn 10 of them per second so really this delay only needs to be one to one and a half seconds oops let's make it one and a half Still needs they need to last a little bit longer. Six seconds is not quite long enough. Maybe a little bit more like ten seconds. Hi de ho! Hi de ho! What's up, we the people? Yeah, so set that delay to Nine point nine nine. Yeah, 
and maybe we could try, there's an oval thing and then there's this additive thing. Maybe one of them can not be, we'll turn off the additive one maybe. We'll see if we can get a nice clean look but still has sort of that look of fire still. Actually the oval is probably the one that needs to be turned off. See, that didn't really add anything. Let's try the additive on and the oval off. gives it a glow, an extra little bit of glow. Maybe it should be a little bit, um, a little bit less opaque though. This is opacity 0.25 to 0.313. Let's try turning it down to um, 18 there and 25 there. So it's just a little bit more faded out. Now it's lasting nine seconds. Let's check on the timing next. And if I stand here, I won't even be able to block. There you go. Yeah, now it looks really clean, but it also has that little bit of glow added to it. Yes, this is great. Having this fire boss have this whole ring of fire around him. It's very fire bossy. And um, another thing about the ring of difficulty is that it removes all the pillars from around the screen. So you're not gonna be able to pick up any health while fighting him, except for these two healths there. And sometimes you can pick up health actually with these fire, little fire spiders. But still, there's a lot less health. And also the fire boss can get like, can fly into these corners where you can get out of reach. And he's also outside of his fire ring. So I think this does, is a really good improvement for the ring of fire. I mean the uh, Yale snare item. Yale snare. Rat as hell, nice. You never get your fire to look right? What what part of the fire is it that uh, gets you? Is it the animation or is it the like additive effects? Cool, okay. Maybe let's try it lasting twice as long with the timing here. So now it's, now each one of these fire entities lasts 20 seconds. dies out, he puts up another one. Let's go six, 16 seconds or so. Oh, just the animation? Uh-huh. Oh, he just took him out? Yeah, I hear ya. Your art seemed to me, uh, at first glance, it may have just been the area, but like you had a real um, cool overall. 
cool as in like bluish and whites and like pale colors. So maybe that fire, I don't know, didn't quite mesh with your overall color hue. Maybe, maybe you could try making fire that's blue or something if you wanted to put fire in. Maybe you don't even want fire. Maybe you could do other kinds of cool lights like glowing lanterns or something that are blue or, or purple or green or something. I don't know. Trying to give you some ideas. One point six one eight, not a two. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one more thing to make the fire boss a little smarter. Sometimes he can. Do, let's check on his targets. Sometimes the bosses can target um, any. Yeah, nearest friends. So we want to target only the hero. Yeah, white, white flame, totally. Yeah. So I got this little bit of AI behavior from the drop boss who targets. Here, this is this is it. So this is a smarter way to target based on if you have the, the ring of difficulty. So instead of targeting the nearest friend, if you have the ring of difficulty, target the hero specifically, otherwise target the nearest friend. And what that does is it basically makes the boss seem a lot smarter because um, Um, because he's always targeting rock instead of sometimes targeting jib or vel. So this one is going to be not not if you have the ring of difficulty. There we go. Okay, so now we've got two difficulty improvements to the fire boss and it's complete. Let's test it out, and then we'll test out without the ring, and this should be done. Dude, another boss. Mount, what's up, man? Howdy. How you been, Mount? What's new? So I do believe we're at the point where we can fight him. So I'm gonna set up um, items so that we have something similar to what the player should have by this time in the game. So I can fight him in sort of a, um, this, would be, this would be about what you would have as far as items go. Bombs, meditate, fire armor, ring of difficulty, sword, Charge jib, not vel. We have blink, nothing else really. That's okay. Yeah, let's do it like this. So we're ready to fight the fire boss. Let's turn on, let's, I'm gonna hear the music too. And yeah, so this is the fighting the fire boss with the ring of difficulty. I'm probably gonna cheat a little bit. I should also test out um, the tower fire boss because the tower fire bosses are doubled up. So what? Oh, that would probably still work because um, they they only spawn these fire rings if um, there's a certain number of fire. So it should still work out fine because there will be a total amount of fire on the screen. So one or the other of the uh, two fire bosses will spawn all these rings of fire.
Titan Souls. That's the name of the game I was thinking of earlier. that increase hit points the ring of difficult or EAL snare whatever you want to call it the ring item increases every single enemy in the whole games hit points damage intelligence and I guess that's it so he's got more hit points even the bosses and of course he's got this whole attack Okay, I'm going ahead and cheating a little bit because I only have one cactus container. And by this time in the game, this is Dungeon 7, you probably have three or four cactus containers if you know the world. Maybe at least three. Because you've been, you can go to two of the Swordless Dungeons so far. Definitely doable. I only cheated once. I've always thought the fire boss is one of the easier bosses anyway. It was more difficult though than the other fire boss. So let's let's confirm that. Um, I'll fight him again. This time with um, without the ring. Let's make sure. Okay, one thing though, I'm gonna verify his hit points. Are greater so let's turn on the debug view real quick he's got 310 okay now without the ring So you can see that the, uh, the even even the floor space has changed without the ring. Oh, without the ring, let's check his hit points. He's got two forty-eight. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna fight him again, anyways. Even though he's not doing his ring, or nice. Yeah, he's not doing his ring of fire. The floor space hasn't changed. I'm already cheating here. Pay attention. Yeah, he's already at half health. Much easier without the ring. Yep. He 
was definitely easier without the ring. Okay, cool. That's ready to be checked in. Awesome. Another boss finished with the ring difficulty improvements. Let's just double check. Oh yeah, we need to add the FireSmart2 file. Um, we need to double check all these changes. So he just has one new mode. Oh, we can take away this whole select bit. This isn't necessary. This kind of just happens whenever there's not enough Fire Smart 2s. Okay, so if you have the ring of difficulty and there's not a bunch of Fire Smart 2s on the screen, he does his animation. He launches a whole bunch of these Fire Smarts to create a ring around the screen. And he's also got one more thing where he's a little bit smarter about who he targets, which hero. And that too. And there's this, also this where we can create or um, spawn other entities um, at an absolute position. Okay, let's check that in. And then we'll make sure that the boss, the fire boss is in the tower, the double fire boss works as well. So that will be fighting at is it 0196? 97 is keel. So yeah, I think it's 0196. And we need the ring. Okay, let's do this. hear that. So I might take away these pillars. What? Oh, ultimate chaos. I love it. Just glad that that worked well. It works well because it's just smart. Either one of the fire bosses can launch the ring of fire, but as long as there is a region for ring of fire, then the fire bosses don't. So that works. Right? Yeah, this is this is definitely kind of crazy. Little fire spiders have a little bug with them, but I'm gonna fix that after the stream. Okay, so that's it for the stream. Um, I've accomplished my goal. Yeah, in a good way, I agree, I agree. There's a lot of good chaos going on there. I might choose to take away those pillars because they kind of make the fight a little bit easier because some of them can contain bombs and health and stuff. But I'll think about that. So, yeah, now that this goal is complete. Okay, so how many more bosses do I have to do? Um, there's only a few more bosses to make more difficult if you have the ring. I've done, let's see, I'm trying to get to my notes here. I'm doing good. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of proactive here. So I've done the drop boss, Cinderfawn. Rodruiel, the Blob Boss, Murmuroth, the Acid Boss, Basorium, the Ice Boss, Puriel, the Fire Boss, so there's still Bathcoal, the Lightning Boss, um, Eale, the wall, the wall Boss, Keel, the Tower Boss, Metatron, the Final Boss, and Kusanagi, the Hidden Boss. So there's five more bosses still to do, but you can see they're actually pretty quick. To you're, I'm basically just adding like one new form of attack to each one of these bosses and then checking to make sure it all works well. So these should go fairly fast. I'll probably be able to knock off two more of them tomorrow. 
another two the next day, maybe three. So by the middle of this week, I'll be finished with the ring of difficulty. Yes, that's a good feeling. This is the last thing. This is the last thing that has to be done for the update. Everything else is finished. The charged attack took forever to get all right, but it's freaking awesome now. There's the parry ability. There's the whole arena fight where you have waves of enemies and you have, and there's the new boss, um, Ren. Shoot, there is so much. Oh, Ren, I guess, needs to be more difficult as well. So there's six more bosses to finish, adding new effects to. But still, if I do two a day, that's still Wednesday. So anyways, this new update is almost finished on my end. Um, just to reiterate, double 11, We'll need to um, work on the update a bit, check its quality, make sure it all runs on PlayStation and Xbox all before it can come out officially. But we are relatively close to having this major update finished. And um, this should be pretty much it for Songbringer. So I'm not really going to be releasing any more major updates or new items and stuff. From, from after this, it's just going to be minor bug fixes. So... And then, of course, there's going to be the iOS version and the soundtrack as well, too. But those aren't, those aren't changing the game at all. This kind of changes the game. So after this, there's no more changes, basically. So thank you so much for watching. This is it for today's stream. And um, we'll catch you all next time. Thanks again for watching.